More than 80 road restrictions are in place in Tairafati as the Gisborne District Council faces another colossal clean-up following last week's rain. Tairafati Civil Defence says approximately 50 people have been cut off after Tofari Parai Road, north of Tolaga Bay, was so badly damaged it looks like it's been hit in an earthquake. Zane Small has the latest. This is Tofari Parai Road in Tairafati. It looks as though an earthquake has struck, but this is simply the result of constant rainfall. We've got a number of issues on Tofari Parai Road. Um, the biggest one that we've been looking at is at the 18k mark. Um, it's a site locally known as the Doonholm Slope. So there's been significant damage through there, and the team of engineers have been up in the air today to have a look at it, um, to try and get an assessment of what our next steps are going to be. It's a major inconvenience for those who work in the area. Typically, this property that I've got on the market, um, I would access via Tolaga Bay up through the Tofati Parai Road, which is um, which was a nice, good sealed road. Um, now I cannot go that way um, and have to go. It takes about an hour to go up from the other direction. And it's just one of dozens in the region. Each red mark represents a road that's been closed. Gisborne's fourth state of emergency this year was lifted on Sunday after heavy downpours caused mudslides to tear through homes, re-traumatising residents still recovering from Cyclone Gabrielle. And now the ground is absolutely sodden. You know, I have to put my gun boots on in the car to get out of it. The ground soaked up so much water it's like porridge, leading to more slips. The ground's absolutely saturated. There's very little we can even do on some of these sites because the slips are still moving. Engineering professor Liam Wotherspoon knows the impact too much water can have on ground movement. We're getting more and more water soaking into those slopes. That's building up the, the loading on those slopes. And then also at the same time, that's influencing the strength and reducing the strength over time. And so if we get an increase in load and a reduction in strength, at some point we're going to see some sort of failure occurring. And that's what we see with the damage to those roads. And as the number of damaged roads keeps growing, Gisborne District Council is struggling to keep up. Zane Small, News Hub.